Hello everyone, how's it going? I'm Wow Crendor, and today I want to give a little channel update because I haven't done one of these, I think, since I got my gallbladder out. Uh, I think all the way back in February? February. So, what's going on with this YouTube channel? Not much, apparently. <laughs> uh, so, as you can see, uh, lately I've been putting up more fishing with Crendors. Um, and I think that's still one of my favorite things to do is fishing with Crendor. Um, there was a point where I was trying to upload every day, and I think daily uploads actually drove people away. Uh, I think it works for some people, uh, but I think daily uploads at this point on YouTube, it almost feels uh, like like too much. It's oversaturated, um, especially when a lot of the videos are just like, Hey guys, here's a... Uh, well, let's play number 800. Here's, uh, you know, some, like... Uh, some days it almost feels like it's a filler video rather than uh, something you put a lot of effort into. I know somebody's like, Crandor, you don't put effort in anything. Um, true. <laughs> no, but like, you know what I mean. Um, so the main things going forward that I want to focus on, and I've seen a lot of people really enjoy a few specific things I put on this channel, are fishing with Crendors, which I think is my favorite thing to do. I just enjoy interviewing people, getting to know people in the community. Um, as you've seen lately, I've been I've done one with uh, John Stats, the old WoW dungeon designer. I did one with iDubs. Um, I did one with uh, It Me JP. So there's also the full backlog. If you guys know, I did one with Asmongold. I know Asmongold's gotten very popular as of late. I actually fished with him about a year ago. Uh, if you want to check that one out. Um, Ego Raptor, like I've fished with so many people. I've been doing this for like three years at this point, which is crazy to me. Um, but I think that is my favorite series. Brandon Sanderson. Oh my god, I forgot I did one with Brandon Sanderson. I think that was a year ago too. But um, besides the point, it's I just I really enjoy interviewing people, getting to know them, and all that stuff. So uh, I'm glad everybody likes listening to them. Uh, so that's one thing. The next thing is pointless top tens. Still want to keep going with the pointless top tens. Again, another one of my favorite series. Not as many as I used to do, uh, but I, I'd like to pick up the pace a little more with those. And I'm actually going to be making some WoW Machinimas. I'm working right now on if fans made BFA. Um, I think it's the perfect time for one <laughs> with uh, all the backlash uh, over BFA or controversy, if you will. Um, so I think it's the perfect... Uh, perfect series to put uh, BFA into and have my my typical uh, crew of if fans ran uh, characters kind of say how they would make the game, right? Uh, so I'm hoping to get that up in the next couple of days, actually. I've already got the script pretty much written out, and so I just got to film it or uh, do the audio film it, all that stuff. Um, also... Uh, those are the main three things I want to focus on. I still enjoy doing the little, like, discussion videos. I know they're probably not everyone's favorite, but I just enjoy reading comments and, uh, seeing what people have to think. Things like, how do you keep WoW fresh? Do you mount farm? Uh, things like, what's your opinion on whatever? I, don't, I try not over flood with them, because I think that can be a very, uh, I guess it's something you could easily abuse. You know what I mean? Like, every day, be like, guys, what's your opinion on the uh, Zuldazar? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you just make one about everything. Guys, I need to know your opinion on the drop rate of the mount in Drustvar, guys. Like, is that horse, is that thing ever going to drop? Or what is it, the pack mule? I don't even know. I only have the hyena, so. <laughs> uh, you get what I'm saying. Um, And then, uh, I, I'll probably start up while leveling again. Even though I just said, like, nobody wants to watch level 800 or 800 episodes. Because uh, I've just been playing WoW on Twitch and off Twitch. And so I haven't really felt the need to level my WoW leveling character. But I think once I get tired of all this, then I'll probably just swap back to leveling my WoW leveling character. Uh, just because I won't be leveling actual high-level characters. I'm still leveling my Gnome Death Knight. Uh, yes, a Gnome Death Knight, who's level 115 right now. So I'm trying to get an Alliance and a Horde to do both sides. Sorry, I got my Tar and Warrior right now. Item level 358. Uh, and... Uh, yeah, what else? I mean, those are the main things I want to do. Um, and if you have any other suggestions for 
types of videos you want on this channel, uh, let me know. Or like older series that you enjoyed or that you might enjoy in the future. You know what I mean? And then non-content, of course, is the, uh, <laughs> the other thing I'd like to keep putting up. But I think I, I'm just trying to find a nice middle ground where I want to mainly upload the highest watched things because I think that's the main reason people uh, still come to this channel. I th one of the big things that made me realize that was somebody was like, wow, you know, I've been subscribed to Crendor for like 10 years at this point and I've... I only watch Fishing with Crendor, Pointless Top 10, and WoW Machinimas. And it had a bunch of thumbs up. And I was like, you know, I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with uploading at that kind of rate of like a nice medium rate where uh, I think a lot of people do that. Like Dunky, uh, he uploads kind of every so often. But I'd like to find a middle ground, like I said, between Dunky uploading rate and like you know northern lion uploads like 10 times a day so you know what i mean um because then i'm also streaming on twitch so it's just kind of balancing uh both things but uh let me know your what you think <laughs> in the comments down below that's how i'm feeling right now because after being away from wow machinimas for so long and really playing a lot of wow recently i've i've got that motivation to make some wow videos again which is why i'm saying all this um and then, uh, yeah, so let me know what you think uh, in the comments section below. Just want to do a little update on the YouTube channel, because I like to do it every six months or so. Just tell you my thoughts, what I'm thinking, and uh, my plans going forward. Uh, or, uh, let me know if there's any machinima ideas you'd like to know as well. I know people are like, make more how to win at things, make more orc vs wild, make more blah blah blah. Um, so again... Uh, I've, I've contemplated making how to win at farming mounts. I think that would be a really funny one too, especially because I've been farming so many mounts as of late. So I have a vast amount of experience in mount farming and uh, what you go through when you farm mounts. So let me know in the comments below all that good stuff. If you're still subscribed uh, and watch my videos after all this time, thank you very much. And also, uh, let me know any fishing with Crendor guests you'd like to see too. That's another thing. Um, coming up, I've got Mark Kern who is another uh, old-school classic WoW guy. Uh, in fact, he's uh, he's on the same team. Not the same team, but like, he worked there with John Stats. Uh, and I think he was even more along the lines of like full game production or something. I'll get to know more when I talk to him, but he agreed to be on Fishing with Crendor. And then S-Fand I'm going to be fishing with. Um, and then I've got a, a few other people lined up behind them, but they're the most recent ones coming up, so I'm excited to uh excited to fish with them so let me know uh anything pretty much just let me know anything pointless top 10 ideas machinima ideas uh fishing with crendor guest ideas video ideas. just let me know whatever you got thank you for watching and i'll see you later okay okay see you